Who would win a fight between two of the largest species of cattle? Indian Gaur versus Spanish Bull. Indian Gaur and Spanish Bull are some of the largest species of cattle in the world. What do you think happens if they fight? Maybe one is bigger, but the other is more aggressive and has experience in fighting. Stay with us until the end, and you will find out who the winner is. India is proud to be the sole home to the Indian bison of Gawa, which is the largest and the tallest in the family of wild cattle, even bigger than water buffalo and bison. Since 1986, the IUCN has listed the Indian bison as vulnerable because of the declining population. Nowadays, this animal is kept well protected in some of the famous national parks of India. The Spanish fighting bull, or Toro de Lidia, is a unique breed of bovine renowned for its exceptional bravery and beauty. The bull's physical build and natural aggression make this breed appropriate for the bullfight due to its impressive strength as well as its natural instinct to charge. What do they look like? The Gawa height at the shoulders reaches 5.6 to 7.2 feet, 1.7 to 2.2 meters, and its body length from head to rump spans 8.2 to 10.8 feet, 2.5 to 3.3 meters. A mature male Gawa has a sleek black coat, while the females and young ones have a brown coat. The horns of a male and female Gawa alike are yellow in color with black tips and they curve skywards. Horns can grow up to 2.6 feet, 80 centimeters in length. Unlike the common domestic cow, under their necks, Gawas have a dewlap of skin which stretches from their throats to their forelegs. They have a prominent ridge running along their back. As adults, they weigh between 1,543 and 2,204 pounds, 700 to 1,000 kilograms. The fighting bull is characterized by its aggressive behavior, especially when solitary or unable to flee. Many are colored black or dark brown, but other colorations are normal. They reach maturity slower than meat breeds as they were not selected to be heavy, having instead a well-muscled athletic look with a prominent marillo, a complex of muscles over the shoulder and neck which gives the bull its distinctive profile and strength with its horns. The horns are longer than in most other breeds and are present in both males and females. Mature bulls weigh from 900 to 1,543 pounds, 408.2 to 700 kilograms. Where do they live? Bosgauras are found in the Western Ghats, in particular Nagahol, Bandhipur, and Mudhamalai complexes. They prefer evergreen forests and moist deciduous forests, but also occur in dry deciduous forest areas. Mostly they are found in the hilly terrain below an altitude of 1,500 to 1,800 meters. They occur from sea level up to at least 2,800 meters altitude. The Spanish fighting bull is an Iberian heterogeneous cattle population which is mainly bred free range. The exact origins of these animals are disputed. Some commentators trace its origin to wild bulls from the Iberian Peninsula. And they also trace the use of fighting bulls for arena games to the Roman Empire. But genetic studies of the Spanish fighting bull have indicated that the breeding stock have an unusually old genetic pull. The animals are bred free range on extensive estates, mainly in Spain, Portugal, and in some Latin American countries where bullfighting is organized. What do they eat? Green grass is the main staple food for the Gawa. It does, however, also feed on flowers, cashews, teak bark, young bamboo shoots, herbs, shrubs, and fruits. It feeds by grazing on plains during the day, 
or by browsing on trees or woody herbs. The optimum feeding time for the gower is in the early morning and evening. However, when their habitat becomes disturbed by human activities at these times, they may become more nocturnal and feed during the nights instead. Bulls bred for bullfighting are grass-fed, live in spacious fields, and are particularly well taken care of. They also live a longer life than animals bred for human consumption, five to six years, as opposed to the average 18 months. How do they behave? A Gower herd can have five to 20 members. Each herd is led by a dominant bull with several females in tow. Younger bulls cluster themselves in bachelor groups, but very old bulls lead solitary lives. Each herd can have a home range of 30 square miles. When threatened, the Gawa bull attacks its opponents from their broadsides. It lowers its own head and hindside and then strikes from the broadside with its horns. Though a huge animal, the Gawa moves swiftly. Their alarm call is called a whistling snort. Still, the Gower is generally hard for humans to approach, as it is a shy and wary animal. A bull's natural behavior, both in the wild and in the bull ring, is to attack anything it perceives as a threat, a reaction usually triggered by movement and proximity. In the wild, the bull will fight with other bulls in disputes over territories and status, or during the mating season. In the bull ring, it is the movement of the bullfighter's capes which attracts the bull to attack instinctively and to charge repeatedly. A significant part of the enjoyment of the bullfight is an understanding and appreciation of the bulls themselves. Given that no two are the same, and not all bulls are considered as successful in the bullfight. Upon entering the ring, a manso or docile bull will flee from confrontation seeking refuge by the barrier. This kind of behavior does not reduce the dangerousness of the bull, as a manso bull behaves in a more unpredictable manner, making him even more dangerous. On the contrary, a brave bull is one that charges repeatedly and searches for the capes, attacking without tiring or losing interest. Now it's time to find out who would win if a Gower is forced to fight with a Spanish bull? A Miura bull, same as Spanish and Taurus bull, is fast, fierce, and very, very strong. They are heavily built and bred to fight. These are bullfighting bulls, bred precisely for the purpose of duking it out in the ring with a matador. As such, they are unusually intelligent for cattle, and are quick to charge at anything that moves, though years of breeding has made them more prone to charging at loose, flapping objects like cloths or, yes, capes. Other Spanish breeds of bulls are typically much more docile, though Navarra bulls can be pretty moody and were a breed used to create the Miura. They are all muscle and as such don't tire quickly. They have long, limber legs that make them swift and agile on their feet, as well as allowing them to jump considerable distances for such a large animal. The only wild contender for this unique breed of bull is an Indian Gower. A Gower can be about 700 kilograms heavier than a Spanish bull. They are both bovines. There's no reason to doubt that in any given fight between the two, whichever one is bigger will win and this would be the Gawa. So if you take the tallest of both species, the Gawa has the weight and size advantage. However, the Spanish bull tends to be more aggressive. This aggression is a good compensation for their smaller size. These species generally don't meet one another, so getting them to fight would be challenging. As I said, the Gawa has a larger size, so he would win based on muscle. But because the Spanish bull can be way more aggressive, and if the size of the two were equal, I would say that the Spanish bull has a pretty serious chance. Bear in mind that humans have bred the Spanish bull specifically to be aggressive and hard to beat. 
It's a breed bred to fight. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.